Right, well we've got a couple of days, or a couple of half days really, of combining left to do. Um, it's September tomorrow, so it's getting quite late. That like said, it's only just really ready to spring barley. Because um, it got drilled so late. Now, we were combining last night and heard a noise under the cab here somewhere. And then I saw some sparks coming out of the front of the header. Now that's never a good sign when you're in some dry barley. So, stopped immediately, dropped the header off, unloaded the tank, had a bit of a sniff, could smell some smouldering, so whizzed it back here, it was only five minutes away, and put the pressure washer on, shoved it in here, sprayed it about, it stopped the smell, and obviously it didn't catch fire overnight, so that was a good sign. So, I started to strip it off because this front elevator has got to come off. And the reason being, something has come adrift here. Um, I'm not quite sure what. There's a boss there that bolts in, that it pivots on. I don't know, until it's off, we won't be able to tell. So, what it involves, I started already, as you can see, I've took the guarding off. Uh, so this belt has got to come off, this little piece here, this little uh, bracket's got to come off. Uh, I've took the hydraulics connector off from the front here, the electrics have got to come off. That's quite straightforward. This side, uh, you've got these pipes and this little electric cable to this um, potentiometer. Uh, the pipes go under to the uh, pivot for the the um, hydraulic ram that works this um, auto level table. Uh, although I'm just looking at, you know, I might undo them up here. Where do they end up? there and there. <coughs> yeah I might very well take them off there actually because I think that'll be a little bit easier than dropping them off there so and then all you do then once you've taken all the peripheries off drop the rams off pull these pins out oh, don't forget to take this rev counter off and uh, take it back stick the telehandler under here with the uh, fork extensions. Um, it's not difficult, it takes a little bit of time just to take everything off um, and then we'll see what the hell's happened to it. Right, well after a little bit of time, uh, it's not too tricky to take off once everything's unbolted. Um, it came off very straightforwardly just fits on these these here are clipped in here you can see where I sprayed some water in here last night because it was making a nasty smell but here's the problem it should look like that it does look like that so this has obviously failed here broken off so something's got a Jesus, yeah, look, it's all broken here. Whether that's repairable, I hope so. But it looks like this whole shaft's got to come off, probably. It's obviously, I think it's been moving like that for a little while. <laughs> I think we can safe to say this bearing's knackered. Oh dear, so. It's a bit of a job, this. That should be sitting, this should be right in here. Yeah, it's properly, properly buggered. Great. Okay. Well, well, all I can do is 
take it to bits and see if I can fix it. So, uh, I hope I can fix it. I'll, I'll have to weld that up, whether I end up getting another one next year. What's that? No, that's a strengthening piece. Because these were weak when these came out, and these are extra bits that were welded on to give it extra strength. But that bit there has obviously failed. I hope it hasn't bent that shaft, because that would be expensive. So, let's get into it. Right, so I've took that all off, um, and you can see this is cracked all up here, all through. <laughs> Horrible. Basically, it's just that bit that hasn't cracked. It's the only bit holding it together. Oh, and at the top there a bit, I think. So, uh, oh, and the other thing is this shaft. This is a, um, that should be a shoulder on there to put a bearing on. Obviously, that's screwed as well. Now, if this was... If I'd got all winter, I'd probably get someone to machine that down, put a um, sleeve over it, fix a sleeve onto it, perhaps heat it and shrink it on, machine it to size, machine that up. But that'll take, well, it's going to take a while. So I'm getting a new shaft. 900 quid, not too much if you say it wrong. The two little plates that go on the back here, they're £100 each, and a bearing. And I'm going to weld this up. This part, this whole unit, you can no longer get. Not that I really want it, it costs a fortune. This is the little plate, and you can see that's where it got hot last night. Very lucky not to be looking at a total loss. So, uh, next job, take the chains out and uh, get this shaft out. Right, so we're um, had quite a day out of it. The, the welding's all finished. I've now got this shaft back in. As you can see, it all turns nicely. These are so it don't have got these plastic things on. It's, obviously, that's just a bit of drain pipe, I think. But this is all to stop it, things getting wrapped on it. Um, it's all fitted now. This end was quite interesting. I couldn't quite work it out. Well, I couldn't remember how it came off, to be honest. But it um, seems to be correct now. Slip clutch is all adjusted. So... That's done. All I've got to do with this now is put the chain, the flight chains and flights back in. A few of these will need bending as well because a few of these have got bent, so they all need hitting with a hammer. So fit them in. Uh, put the chain on that's got uh, take a link out this drive chain to the front, and uh, put it on the combine. So. I'll do that tomorrow. It'll take a little while. Luckily, the weather is set really good for the next few days, and we've only got about a day and a half of combining to finish. So, um, get that all on and get the combining finished, and we'll worry about whether it's falling to bits again in the winter. But it's looking good. So I've managed to get this back into, obviously everything's stripped out. This is pretty much where it wants to be. I started welding, don't look at that too closely. I'm not, I don't really know how I work this um, MIG, but I got it crackling away. Uh, all here, around here, so it, 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 it's done on this side. I've still got the inside to do of which there's bits up here, here, um, another bit round there, uh, might even be some round here, I haven't quite looked at that yet, 
Uh, oh, and, and down here it's cracking up through there as well. Uh, but it's coming together. Um, this side, this is also going, so just a bit there. Looks like I've done a bit on here before. I seem to remember doing that. Um, but it is just that little section there. Um, so, we're starting to get somewhere with it. Um, this, uh, this, I'm just going to offer that up. It seems to sit in there quite nicely, actually, by some miracle. Um, I used an acro, old acro, to uh, push it back in and a little bit of heat and it's I think it's pretty good actually the new shaft I went and got that this morning nice little little big shaft in there but I was very impressed with the packaging that is really smart uh, it's going to take a little bit to get it out of there uh, but um, so shaft's here and uh, we shall Continue. Right, I can't help feeling I've forgotten something, but it's all back on. Uh, uh, the chain went on. Actually, it all, it all went back okay. Um, what I'm doing, I'm not putting this guarding on here just to guard that. You can't really get to it when it's running. Um, but I'll be able to keep a bit of an eye on there. Um, and there's only a couple of days combining left. So I'll leave that like that. Um, I'm pretty sure everything's reconnected. It all went back pretty well. Um, so I guess the proof will be if it doesn't smash up and fall off and uh, start another fire. I don't know long term what to do, but I'm fairly sure that'll be fine just to finish harvest this year's harvest with. Uh, so that did take a few days, but um, fingers crossed we can get into the uh, combining tomorrow and pretty much knock most of it over. <laughs> 